All right, so here's our rhythm section for canon in D. So we're in the key of D. So that means we're gonna have our D major. Remember, I like holding with my ring finger on the second fret, barring across the G, C, and E string, leaving that A string open. But you can also hold it with your middle on the second fret of the G, ring finger right underneath it on the second fret of the C, pinky right underneath it, second fret of the E, then A string open. Just make sure you don't have it flat, but you actually have that twist, okay? And so this is how it's going to sound. A nice B minor to an F sharp to a G to a D. All right. And so that's our first chord, a D. And we're going to have this pattern where we're going to go. We strum. This is going to be on the first part and the last part, okay? The second and third part, luckily, they're exactly the same. So first part, you strum. Then you take your thumb. Play the C string, index finger will play the E string, then your thumb comes back to the C string. So it's going to be strum, thumb, index, thumb, strum everything, thumb on the C, index on the E, thumb on the C. So da, do, da, do. Let's try it without our hands. That's strum, strum, C, E, C, C, E, C. I'm using my index finger for that E. Then I go back, that's it. All right, that's our picking pattern in this first section. So we're gonna go on that D, then we change to an A, nice easy change. We just keep our middle finger on the second fret of the G, index finger on the first fret of the C. Please don't put it on the first fret of the E, it has to be on the C, otherwise you'll be holding an F instead of an A, we want an A. So we strum that A, same pattern. Now here comes our hardest chord in this thing, but it's not too hard because we've done it before. So, ring finger comes on the 4th fret of the G string, and our index finger bars across the 2nd fret of the C, E, and A. So ring finger, 4th fret of the G, index finger on the C, E, and A 2nd fret. Hold it all together. And you do that same pattern. Strum, pick, pick, pick. Alright, so let's try to hold that B minor together. Go. Strum, pick, again, let go, B minor, go, strum, pick, 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 again, let go, shake it off, B minor, go, strum, make sure it's clear, notice how my finger is not, I'm not putting it flat like this, you can put it flat, but if you really want to get a lot of pressure, you can also squish it, but if you can't squish it, then go ahead and give it a twist and get it flat, but if you can't squish it, Okay, good. But just make sure you get every string nice and clear, okay? Alright, so let's try those first three chords. So we have D, A, B minor, then an F sharp minor. We've done this one before in Stand By Me. So you put your middle finger on the second fret of the G string. It's kind of like you hold an A again. Hold an A, but then put your ring finger on the second fret of the E. Alright, so my ring finger, second fret of the E while I'm holding that A. That makes an F sharp minor. So in total it will be two on the G, one on the C, two on the E, nothing on the A. Alright, that's F sharp minor. We do the same thing, strum. Alright, so you can think of this like we have two majors, a D major and an A major. Then we have two minors, a B minor and then our F sharp minor. Alright, so two majors, two minor. First major is D, second major is A. First minor is B, second minor is F sharp. And then after that, we're gonna go and to a G. Look at this shortcut from an F sharp minor to a G. I remove my middle finger, but I keep my index and ring where they are, and I shift them just one fret forward, just from there. So this is my F sharp, remove my middle finger, shift them forward, and then I add my ring middle finger to the second fret of the A. And all of a sudden I have my G chord. So that's a super easy move from F sharp to G. All right, so practice that. F sharp minor, G major. F sharp minor, G major. All right, so that's going to be from that G major, then to a D major. All right, so we go G, D, then we go back to our G. Then we finish on an A. Now this is a nice A, so we, you, we're going to mix it up. We're going to have two different ways to do a couple of things. So you can even choose to do this A, the one that you know, that's fine, no problem whatsoever. But if you want to give just a little extra spice, after this G, 
Take the exact same shape and shift it forward two frets. So the index finger will be on the fourth fret of the C, ring finger on the fifth fret of the E, middle finger on the fourth fret of the A. This is an A7, a nice sounding A7. All right, so it's just the same shape as G, two frets forward. All right, don't take it three frets forward or just one fret forward, it has to be two frets forward. So your ring finger is gonna be on that dot on the fifth fret. All right, and that's where it finishes and you start again. So let's go from the G, G to a D, to a G, to an A. All right, and let's try a second time by using that low A. So G, D, G, low A. You can use that, that's fine. And that's the pattern for the whole song, not the picking pattern, but the chord, the chord progression. And that's the chord progression for the whole song, okay? The picking pattern changes, but the whole song stays with the exact same chord order. So let's put all those chords together. So two majors, two minors, then we go G, D, G, A. You can pick whichever A you want. Either this A over here or this A over here. And here's another thing. There's actually another F sharp minor that we're going to bring in from time to time that you can bring in if you feel comfortable. Just give things a little bit of interest, okay? So we're going to take our... If we're on our B minor, and we know that F sharp's coming afterwards, we're going to take our ring finger, shift it to the 6th fret, put our pinky right underneath it on the 6th fret of the C, middle finger on the 5th fret of the E, index finger on the 1st, 4th fret of the A. So it looks like stairs, yeah, like the E minor, but you move it forward, and then you take your middle finger up and put your pinky right underneath it. So your pinky took where your ring finger was. If your ring finger was here, you put your pinky there, middle fing ring finger right above it. That's F sharp minor. Okay, so let's try to hold that a couple of times. This high F sharp minor. Let go. Go, high F sharp minor. Sixth fret, stairs. Again, let go. Stairs. All right, so let's try to go from B minor over here. To keep that ring finger on that string, but slide. Don't remove, just move. Build those stairs. That F sharp minor. Ring, pinky, middle, index. And it's the exact same F sharp minor as this one. No difference, it's just different voicing. They sound slightly different, but it's the exact same chord. You can interchange them however you want, okay? So let's pull those chords together. One, two, three, let's go. A, B minor, F sharp minor. Our first part and it's going to be the exact same thing for our part four now part two all we're doing is keeping those exact same chords part two and part three we're keeping the exact same chords but now we're strumming and our strumming pattern is going to be down 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 up. all right so we're gonna have four downs and an up don't just go down 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 up no get the rhythm the rhythm is down 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 up down 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 up down down on that third down, I'm giving a little bit of an accent, meaning I'm making it a little bit stronger. So my first two are a little bit quiet, so down, down. Third one, down, a little bit louder. Not too loud, like down, down, down. Not that way, okay? So just nice and soft. Down, down, down. Soft, soft, hard. Soft, soft, hard. And when I'm making it soft, I'm hitting those upper strings. Then the, when I make it hard, I'm hitting all of them, okay? So down. Add a down up at the end. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Three, go. Down, 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 down. And then every time after you do that down up, you're gonna change the next chord. Okay, so let's now put it together in context. This is now part two and part three. So part two starts off.
high E this time. Down, down, down. Now part three, the exact same thing. So we did it twice for part two. We're doing it two more times for part three. It's high F sharp minor. Now we can use whichever one you want. Just make it interesting. Bring some in the some of the time. Second time for part three. So we go for part four right now. Three, go. But when you do it once, on that A, finish on a D. So you retardando, you kind of delay, you slow down a little bit at the end so that you can have a nice, Sure finish, okay? So let's try out part four with a nice slow down at the end. Three, go. Hi, F sharp minor. I'm gonna use that one this time. G. G, slow it down. Make sure you and your partner finish together. All right, don't finish. Don't Please don't do that. Make sure you go. Strum, not to finish, okay? So that D, A, D, sounds beautiful when you do it like that. All right, so let's now do it all together. It's pretty quick. It's a lot easier than the lead section. So all you need to do is know the chords and know the patterns and know where you are. And very important, you're the person who's setting the pace. If you go quickly, you're going to mess up the whole performance because your partner will not be able to keep up. They have a lot of notes that they're going to play, so you have to make sure it's moderate. If you go super quick, anyone can go super quick. If you go super slow, anyone can go super slow. But you have to keep it in between. Not too slow, not too quick. Just right in the middle so your partner can get it, okay? So let's take it nice and slow. One, two, three, let's go. Let's bring our strums. So your goal as the rhythm player is to maintain a nice steady tempo and to make sure it's a steady rhythm, okay? So steady tempo means you're keeping the speed the same. Tempo means speed. But rhythm means you're keeping it at a constant rhythm, whether you're strumming or if you're picking. Make sure you don't start off like this. All right, that's not steady. This is steady. 
and make sure you can also try and tap. Really important thing that super many people overlook. They think, ah, this is a small thing. No, it's not a small thing. Make sure you can tap your foot as you're playing. If you can do that and your partner is able to do that, you'll both be on the same wavelength, okay? You'll be moving together, you'll be moving in tandem. So try your best also practice stepping your foot, all right? So that your foot can be moving on the beat. And then your partner, hopefully they can also do it and they can play the lead lines on the, on the beat, okay? So that's your goal. Keep it at a steady tempo, steady speed, and a steady rhythm. If you can do that, then you are doing your job as a rhythm player and you're holding the foundation, the harmonic foundation of the song, okay? So make sure you know your chords, make sure you know the different rhythms, make sure you know where you are. I mean part one, part two, part three. Remember part two and part three are the same. They both have a repeat, but part four is the same as part one. However, you only play it once and you finish with a nice slow strum. Not a, all right, thank you very much. All right, okay, don't do that. Make sure it's nice and slow. All right, have fun practicing the rhythm section. Can't wait to see you and your partner play well together. Bye for now.